All right, welcome to Fire Pinto's Northern Outpost. Today is going to be a junkyard day, all about motor mounts and a little bit of axles. See if we can get a better one than that. Enjoy the show. So I made a purchase. I found a guy on eBay that was selling some Mustang II motor mounts. Um, and they came with uh, some polyurethane replacement rubber pieces that apparently take windshield urethane glue and glue them on. But I just have everything tie wrapped together for now. Did come with bolts. Just tie wrap together to know what goes with what. Um, but yeah, I would, I would like this to work with that uh, in the Pinto. So in this video, I go to the junkyard and uh, look at the Pinto there and how they're mounts are on the car so this is the passenger side now on a Mustang too it's got these 90 degree <clears throat> portions that are bolted on now on a Pinto it's not it's just flat so you'll see that in the video um, so I'd like to figure out what do I have to do? I think I'm gonna end up having to make my own mounts because I don't wanna I don't wanna modify these. They're getting hard to find. As you can see, I don't know if this is the original form here or if that's supposed to be all flat. I'm kinda thinking it is original because I kind of have the same thing going on on this side. Some for what I've learned, the passenger side frame mount is the same as the V6 model, and this is the V8 version. So I tried to get those mounts off of that Pinto in the junkyard, but just need some lubricant and probably warmer day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the plan's gonna be, but these mounts here are almost impossible to find too. So I don't know if I want to make Pinto only mounts that go to the Mustang II mounts for the engine, or do I just want to? I'm almost leaning towards just solid mounts. If you can get the engine in that way, I don't know. But I do plan on designing Pinto only mounts that go to Windsor 302s or Cleveland 351s. So I think that's the plan. Uh, let's see, that's this side over here. So that would be up there like that. I don't know if there's any benefit to modifying stuff so that there's more room for headers or some kind of some kind of bigger exhaust manifold. So that's pretty much that. Hope you enjoy the uh, little junkyard trip that I took. The dog is upset. <laughs> so, another cold day in the junkyard. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. All right, 
So I'm here at the junkyard doing a little exploring for motor mounts. This is a 79 Pinto wagon and a 79 Pinto hatchback. I had just purchased Mustang 2 motor mounts. And I was going to pull these out to see how similar they are. Already I'm seeing differences. These four bolts all mount to the same plane, it looks like. And I think the Mustang 2 ones have a flange that comes on. see how they would just bolt in like I thought people said. So I'm going to take some measurements and possibly pull these two motor mounts out. We may have to invent our own. But alright, it's cold and I need to get to work. So I got some basic measurements here. It's kind of diagram. <clears throat> Hands are freezing, but this would be the bell housing. These two are the motor mounts, frame rails. And what's left of them? <laughs> Looks pretty rotten. Um, <clears throat> I got about 24 inches between the narrow part of the frame wells from the motor mounts back. And then you can see it kind of zooms out a little bit. So we got 24 and three quarters at the very end here. It seems like the this motor mount is a quarter inch further back, 13 and three quarter to the bell housing. Now, but that's just propped up by so hubcap there. <laughs> I think the rear transmission mount is still bolted in, so take that as you may. <clears throat> and the other side is 14 inches to the bell housing. 29 inches from the bell housing to these flanges here. So I think we're gonna pull these out. Uh, there is a Mustang 2 here that is a V6. I might go look at that next. But yeah, it's cold out here. Hands are freezing. Alright, well, I got one bolt out. The other top one is pretty rusty. I don't wanna I don't wanna snap them off. So I gotta come back with uh, some PB blaster, I think. Hopefully on a warmer day. I don't exactly need these mounts. I just want them for the pattern. Without having to take apart my car. So. It can be another day. But obviously I think the Mustang 2 mounts are not going to just bolt right in. say ouch, 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 ouch. big rock in my knee <sighs> yeah people say to move this one I can't remember if it was forward or back an inch I hope it's not forward because there's nothing there really at least on this car <laughs> but if it moves back which I assume that's what it would be just get this feeling I'm gonna to have to design custom mounts to satisfy myself because I don't want to hack into a frame that is probably gonna have that happen to it soon so really not much to these things all right let's go look at that Mustang too 
All right, well, this is the Mustang too. They're calling it a 71. I don't know, could be. So, look down at the motor mounts here. You can kind of see the two top bolts. What I should have did was measure the spacing on those. Can't really see. Let's see if I can turn on the light here. I might have to stop. Okay, now we got the light on. See the two bolts there. the motor mount. You can kind of see this flange bent out from the frame that it bolts to. The Pinto doesn't have that. Got power steering stuff going through there. have to get this thing off the ground. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Hey, look at that. I wonder if that works. Let me put some gloves on. being out in the cold anymore. I hate it. <sighs> but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's see if this thing even goes up. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What do we have here?
Nope. I'm going right on this rubber thing. Yeah. And it broke, but I guess we don't have to. We can come over here. This thing is looking really not good. Well, I don't know when that video stopped. But we got this thing kind of jacked to the max. I don't want to go under here, but I will risk sticking my phone under here. So I'm at, I think, 72 Mustang, fastback. And I'm looking at this axle. It's kind of all taken apart. It looks like there's air shocks on here. But what I really want to know is if this is an eight inch or a nine inch. Get my phone. Focus. your focus What's going on here time.
All right, we are at a 69 Mustang, apparently, according to the scribbles. I think I just found the players. Yeah. Pretty rotten. What we're looking at looks to be a 9 inch or an 8 inch. Not quite positive. What do you think? I can't tell from here. All right, that's it for today's uh, junkyard exploration. Got hair in my mouth. A little dirty. Sharky's hungry for treats. <laughs> it's cold out. We didn't get any motor mounts. But I did get engine bay dimensions for a Pinto. On potential axles, one in a, oh, is it a what's the Ford version of El Camino <laughs> Ranchero? That's a 75, I believe, and a 67 Mustang. I gotta research the videos I took to make sure that they're um, nine inch. I don't want to waste time with the eight inch. If I do that, I'll do the Explorer modification, or the modification to Explorer axle. But I'd rather just buy one I can bolt in. <laughs> and I like the idea of having a nine inch third member to uh, swap out, so for gear changes. Um, the 72 Mustang also might have one, but there is no axles in that. Let's just be a housing and probably gears. But that's it for now. Let's go home and get Sharky some dog treats. Right? You went treat ball? Mr. Shark. <laughs> you went the treat ball? Yeah, you want the treat ball. Alright, that's it for now. Like and subscribe. Please do it now. <laughs>